Victor, you've been a leader in building relations between the Jewish and Christian faiths for decades now. How has our relationship changed over the years? It's changed a great deal in terms of our reciprocal respect and in terms of our uh, reciprocal feelings about the life and the death of Jesus. That was so much a bone of contention, so much a source of blame to the Jews for uh, not having accepted Jesus and for having contributed to his demise. We've gotten past that and that's a major achievement. Why, do you, why is it so important that we continue to cultivate this relationship? It's important because we are a minority, a minority in Canada, a minority everywhere in the world except in Israel. And uh, the world has been, the Western world, largely a Christian world. And uh, we were for so long uh, excluded from participation in the Christian world, not only in dialogue, but in attendance at university and participation in public life and so on. So it is important that we continue to make our presence and our contribution known. It's also important because we are a support of Israel at a time and in a world where Israel does not have all that much support. What would you say are the greatest challenges facing Jewish, Jewish Christian relations in Canada? The greatest challenge really is uh, our respective perceptions of the Middle East and of the state of Israel. Uh, if we look at the position papers, the resolutions adopted or at least considered by different churches, they tend to be very one-sided and very derogatory towards Israel. And uh, I have often said blame is not a good basis for making peace. You make peace when you stop blaming even though you can't forget what happened. And uh, we are still in a phase where people are blaming Israel. And uh, I have said to our Christian brothers and sisters, uh, your resolutions intended to be contributions to peace are unrealistic. And let's sit down together and ask each other what can be a realistic contribution on our part here in Canada to peace in the Middle East. Victor, last question on a personal note. You've been involved in interfaith relations for so many years, and I'm sure have so many highlights, but if you could think of just one, maybe one person you've met or one thing that happened that would be the ultimate highlight, could you think of one? Well, I guess that's easy because I once met the Pope, Pope John Paul II, who was a very stalwart um, partner in dialogue. And uh, he turned out to be an extraordinarily human person. Uh, he, uh, they told us in advance that he might or might not have time to chat with us after the formal presentation which I made on behalf of the International National Council of Christians and Jews and his formal response. We were fortunate. He stayed. He stayed for quite some time, uh, shook hands with everybody, talked individually with everybody. That was a very special experience.